Good morning, Brooks Middle School. How may I help you? Oh, good morning. Uh, yes, so parent-teacher conferences will take place the 28th and 29th of October. All three of my kids are Valley View students, and my daughter was starting first grade, so I figured it was time to get a job. So that's why not the school district? So that's where I started. Tell me about the progression then of the jobs you had, starting with what was your first job and what did you do, and then advance on until you tell me that, okay, now I'm at Brooks Middle School. So my first job was as a nutrition services substitute. So I went to a lot of buildings throughout the school. And then I ended up at Brooks a lot, and they ended up hiring me. So after that, there was a position at Pioneer, which is where my kids were, and it was a part-time secretary position. I accepted that. I was there for two years. After that, three years as special education secretary at R.C. Hill because that was full-time. And then I ended up at Brooks as the executive secretary, and this is my third school year. Everyone before me, my parents, grandparents, and so on, so on, so on, but was born in Italy. My brothers and I were born in Argentina. Uh, we moved here to the United States when I was 12. Didn't speak a word of English. Um, someone once taught me, the first thing that I learned to say was, I don't speak English. So that was my first thing. Um, our ESL teacher didn't speak Spanish, so there was a lot of pointing and, and reading early childhood books until we got to where we were supposed to be. Um, it, was, it was hard, but we learned the language and, and then we were just immersed into, into regular classes a year after we arrived. Could you please put into words what it is like to walk into a school building and you can't understand the language, you don't know what's going on, and you have to sink or you have to swim because at the point in time when you were going to school, let's be honest, there wasn't a lot of help. No, there was not. There was not a lot of help at all. Um, now we have, and this is what I love, what I do too, because I do a lot of translating for these families who are in the same position that ours was when we arrived. So now there's so many things that go home in Spanish and English, and, and I just remember my mom sitting with the school supply list and, and the English-Spanish dictionary and trying to figure out what it was we needed. Um, so it, it, it was so, so hard. Uh, there were days I just wanted to go back, and, and I just wanted to go back and, and make it easy, and I'm grateful we never did. Um, I love living here. We all became U.S. citizens as soon as we could which was a lengthy process in itself. But uh, we are just proud to be Americans and so proud of our heritage, but proud to be Americans as well.